Hey welcome to episode number 4. In this episode we are going to learn about how can you create an Azure app service using Azure portal. And we will learn about how to create a static HTML web app by using Azure Cloud Shell. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So one of the prerequisite for this demonstration if you want to follow along is to have access to the Azure portal. So once you have a free Azure subscription, you can pretty much do exactly what I'm doing on your Azure portal to learn how to create a static web app. First, let's go to the Azure portal. You can access Azure portal by going into portal.azure.com. After you sign into the Azure portal, go to click on create a resource on the top left hand corner and on the search box, enter Azure web app or web application and hit enter. So here you can see there are a couple of options. So what we are going to pick is web app and hit on create. So this is where we are going to fill out the basic details. The first step is to select the subscription. So you may have a single subscription or you may have multiple subscriptions. So select the right subscription where you would like to host this application. You can click on the drop down button to see the number of subscription you may have. So I'm going to pick one subscription. The second step is to pick the resource group. Resource group is a logical container. So you can separate different deployment by having different resource group. You can differentiate this resource group based on project, workload, etc. So there are two options. One, either you can select an existing resource group or you can create a brand new one. So to create a resource group, all you have to do is click on create new resource group. It basically asks you to provide a name for your resource group. So you can name your resource group based on a project. So I'm going to call this resource group as az204-exam-rg. Then hit enter or OK. The next step is to pick a name for your web application. So the name you choose must be a unique among all Azure web application. And whatever name you're going to give is going to be part of the URL as well. So I'm going to call it az204 sample web app. So the URL is going to look like az204 sample web app dot Azure websites dot net. As you can see that Azure website dot net is part of this extension. The next step is to select the code or Docker container. In our instance, we are going to select code. The next step is to select runtime stack. So we have multiple runtime stacks like .NET, .NET 5, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, etc. So we're going to pick .NET 5. So your choice here may affect whether you have a choice of operating system. For some runtime stacks, App Service support only one operating system. So the next step is to pick the right operating system. So we're going to keep Windows here because it's the default when you select .NET 5 and above. The next step is to pick a region. So you have plenty of options here. So the right idea behind picking a region is choosing something which is close to you or where your customer is at. Because you want this workload to be deployed as close to the customer or as close to the users who are trying to access this service. So I'm going to pick Australia East. The next step is app service plan. So I mentioned about app service plan on episode three, where I explained you different types of the plan you can get. So if you have not watched the video, please go ahead and watch. It so you understand the different types of app service plan you get. So for the Windows plan, we are going to leave the default selection. By default, the wizard will create a new plan in the same region as the web application. And by default, the SKU size is selected as F1, which is free shared infrastructure, where I will only get one GB of memory, which is enough for this test environment. After that, you can click on review and create to create the deployment. There are other tabs where you can fill details. Deployment. Deployment tab will give you option. Do you want to enable continuous deployment or not? So I disabled it. And another tab is monitoring. So we will come to this monitoring tab at the later stage. This is where you get an ability to enable application insight 
to monitor the application. So for the time being, I'm gonna select no and click on review and create. So on the review and create page, basically it spits out information about all the options we have selected. This is one more chance for us to validate all the inputs what we have given is correct. Once you satisfied with this information, hit on create. So if you notice on the top information bar on the notification tab, you can see that there is deployment in progress. So you can click on the deployment tab to get more information about what's happening during the deployment. So I'm gonna click on this. This takes me to a page where it actually shows you all the activities which is happening in the background right now. So it looks like our deployment is complete. So if you wanna see all the operations happened, so this is where you can have a look at that. You can directly go to the resource by clicking into go to resource. So let's click on that. All right, so that took us directly into the web app. So it gives you the web app name. Overview page will give you all the information we need to know about the web app. On the left hand side is where you get different option to modify your deployment. So you have the deployment tab where you have information about the deployment slot. Then we have the settings option. So you click on the configuration tab to do any sort of modification or changes to your application. So we will come to these things later. So let's go to the overview pane. So one of the important information on Azure Web App is the URL. So you can access the URL by going into the overview pane. Another way of accessing the URL is by going into clicking on browse button. So to preview your new web app's default content, you only need to select its URL at the top right. So let's select that. This open up in another window. And what you're seeing over here is the placeholder page. This page indicates that your web application is up and running and ready to receive the deployment of your application code. So that completed the first walkthrough. So after every step, my recommendation is to clean up the resources so that you're not charged for any idle resources. So the best way to do it is either deleting the existing resource or what I would typically do is go to resource group and find the resource group we created for this particular demo. In this case, it is AZ204 exam resource group. Select that. And right on the overview pane, you can see delete resource group option. So click on delete resource group. As a fail safe mechanism, Microsoft requests you to provide additional consent in the form of yes or no, or sometimes you have to type in the resource group name. In this case, before deleting, I will have to give the resource group name as a confirmation to delete this resource group. After that, hit on delete. So this is basically deleting or cleaning up the resources what we created, so it is not gonna be charged for us. In the next demo, we are gonna see how to create a static HTML web app by using Azure Cloud Shell. So our resource group is deleted, what we have used in our previous exercise. This time, we are gonna use Cloud Shell. To access Cloud Shell, you have to click on this cloud shell icon on the top navigation plane. This will give you an ability to open either Bash or PowerShell. So select that. This open the Bash or PowerShell on the browser itself. So you can choose between Bash or PowerShell by going into this switcher. So we're gonna select Bash. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna deploy a basic HTML plus CSS site to the Azure App Service by using the AZ Web App command. First, we are gonna create a demo directory and let's change to the directory. Next, we are gonna run the following command to clone the sample app repository to your HTML directory. So the cloning is in progress and as you can see that the clone has been completed. Now let's change the directory. So now let's run the command to create the Azure Web App app in West Europe and the name I have given is AZ204 sample HTML. So this is right now creating the sample HTML web app. The region I chose is West Europe. 
as you can see that it's already created the resource group so the resource group name is rick rg windows west europe we need to take a note of this name so that we can clean up the resource after we complete this exercise the next step it created is it created the sample html now it is configuring the default login it is creating the zip files and the content so looks like our deployment is completed so you can get the sample url from here what app service plan where it is located name of the app which operating system the resource group and the SKU we selected you can access this url by just clicking on this url i'm going to click on go to the url all right so now you know that the app is running the html url is the one which we just now deployed all right so let's go back so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to update and redeploy the app so let's open the code index.html. So this is where you can see the code of this particular static HTML. We're going to change this heading from Azure App Service Sample Static HTML to just Azure App Service. So I'm going to select this and delete. So if you go back to the HTML page, you can see that the name of the static HTML is Azure App Service Sample HTML site. So let's go back here. So I'm going to save it by hitting Control S and I'm going to quit it by hitting Control Q. So now let's see if we can find that in the Azure portal. So I'm going to go to the resource group. So this is the resource group we created using the Cloud Shell. It's Rick RG Windows Best Europe. So I'm going to select that. And you can select the sample HTML. Click on this URL or you can write or on the top, you can hit the browse as well. So after making the changes, I redeployed the code using the same command we ran before with AZ Web App. All you have to use is AZ Web App command. Make sure you choose the same region and the correct and the correct Azure App Service name. So after it completed the redeployment, you can click on the URL. This time you can see that the name is changed from static HTML to just Azure App Service. All right, so that completed the episode number four. I hope the information provided was useful. So you can definitely go ahead and try this by creating a free Azure subscription. In the next episode, we are gonna learn about how to configure and monitor Azure App Service apps. So I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care. Thank you.